Okay, so this video is to log uh, uh, error I'm getting on my VBAR Neo and to implement the recommendations from the service desk at uh, Mikado. So essentially I'm getting an IMU sensor error. So when I turn the VBAR or initialize the VBAR, it flashes red and the cyclic servos bounce for about 30 seconds. Uh, if you check the event log, it also says there's an IMU sensor error. So let's see. I'll initialize it now. Okay, so that's what the error looked like. You get the red flashing, the pulsating of the cyclic servos. Now, the representative at Mikado suggested I downgrade to the pro software without the rescue, as he believed that it has something to do with the rescue sensors um, getting a, uh, or being affected by some type of uh, error. So I'm going to do that now. All right. So we're going to plug in the USB. I'm going to put the phone down. Also going to put the sensor plug in, or the, well, the bind plug, whatever it is. Okay. All right. So essentially, that should work once we turn it on to uh, downgrade the firmware. see if we still get the same error. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in, put the phone down again. Okay, so we'll set up for initial uh, for firmware upgrade or downgrade. So I'm going to go to the software. Control synchronizer it says VBAR device found at path, blah blah blah. Turn off the light. Okay, so it says VBAR Professional Rescue 6.1 firmware is current. So I'm going to go to the applications. Okay. VBAR Neo, there's the Express, the Neo Extender, VBAR Professional. Okay, and then, then there's Rescue. So we're going to check the VBAR Professional, or uncheck this. I mean. Oh, no, we're going to load this app. Okay, and then we're going to update. Oh, it's updating here. Okay. So it says VBAR Professional Rescue is current. Then it looked like device disconnected. It went to 6.1.242 VBAR Professional. All right. It's, and it says current. So now we're on 6.1.242. Before we were on 6.1.35 of the rescue. All right. All right. And now the VBAR professional rescue is checked okay as opposed, I mean, not rescue, sorry. The VBAR professional 6.1 regular firmware is checked as opposed to the rescue. All right, so 
I'm going to reboot the V-Bar and see if it worked. Now, according to the forums, I shouldn't have to change any settings or reset up the V-Bar. Oops. Not All right. I'm just going to leave the phone over here. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, radio on. Okay. Just be unplugged. All right, we're gonna boot up the V bar and see if we still get the IMU sensor error. And we don't get the error. So lo and behold, he was correct. So my feeling is that it's a problem with the rescue firmware, and they'll probably be coming up with an update with it. Uh, let me actually put this on hold. OK. <laughs> and it looks like everything is responding correctly. The compensation is going correctly. OK, yeah, so I haven't flown it. But at least we're not getting the red flashing IMU sensor error. So that makes me feel good that I don't have to return the unit. And I just have to wait for a firmware update of some kind. At least that's the impression I got from the Mikado representative. Okay, that ends this video. Sorry for the poor quality and um, dropping the phone. But at least we have an accurate representation of what happens when you have the error, then upgrade or downgrade. And it seems to fix the problem even though you lose your rescue, which is, at least for me, kind of the point of why I bought this. <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.